My favorite and probably the most used form of magnesium is magnesium chloride. Another name for magnesium chloride is magnesium oil. Because when you concentrate uh, magnesium chloride to about 35%, it becomes very thick and oily, even though there's no oil in it. Magnesium chloride and magnesium sulfate both come from the sea and are the only two forms of magnesium that are actually used as medicines in emergency departments and ICU used when either through uh, injection or an IV, depending on how quickly the results need to be uh, received. If a patient's dying of a heart attack and the doctors have gone through a full protocol of all their pharmaceuticals and the patient's still dying, they'll pull out the magnesium sulfate or magnesium chloride. And usually with an injection, within a few heartbeats, revives the heart. It shows the power. How doctors use an ICU and emergency department shows you the power of magnesium, especially over the heart. And it is, I wrote a book about it called The Ultimate Heart Medicine. But magnesium chloride and specifically magnesium oil put me on the medical map of the world when I wrote my book, Transdermal Magnesium Therapy, which is the use of magnesium oil topically. Nebulizing into lungs is basically topically because the lungs are the inner skin that separates the environment from the body. And... Um, I've had more magnesium massages than anybody else alive. And through many years of intense stress, it kept me alive. Now I'm taking magnesium um, chloride tablets. And I take probably about four or five a day. A year ago, a year ago, January, I came back from a trip and I did some blood tests, which is something I don't like to do. And I was diagnosed with a fasting glucose level of 132. So I was diagnosed as diabetic. I came home and in two weeks of taking probably six or eight tablets of magnesium chloride, I didn't have any diabetes anymore and haven't had it since. And one of the nice things about magnesium chloride, beside the fact that you can buy it in the form of magnesium oil, is it's a very nice form, the bond, the chloride, magnesium chloride, the body needs the chloride, uses the chloride in the stomach to make stomach acid which really means that it's very easy to disassociate the chloride from the magnesium. Well, other forms of magnesium, you need hydrochloric acid, sufficient amounts in the stomach to separate the magnesium from whatever it's bonded to. With magnesium chloride and or mag um, magnesium bicarbonate, this, the disassociation between the two parts are almost automatic, almost automatic. And I'll do a separate video on magnesium bicarbonate. So it's a very uh, absorbable form, magnesium chloride. Magnesium sulfate is used in uh, isolation tanks because you can put it, tons of it in so you float. Magnesium chloride tends to be stronger and you couldn't put in so much. Another form, way of using magnesium chloride is in baths with sodium bicarbonate. You can take the baths up to the level of ocean water, which is full of magnesium. It's 
And that's where magnesium oil, the best form, comes from, an underground sea that's been down there millions of years. And through, through that long, long process, the oil forms because of, not because of evaporation. I'm not sure what the process is deep underground, but they just pump it up. So, <clears throat> I'm talking about a form of magnesium. Magnesium itself is a wonder. It, it basically, for survival today, you, everybody should be taking magnesium. I belong to a group in Brazil with 300,000 participants. And people talk about all these different forms. I can't even follow how many different forms there are. But magnesium chloride is a sure bet. Magnesium is so important for so many. It's like magnesium oil is a very nice name for magnesium chloride because magnesium is the oil of the body. It is the oil of physiological processes. It's also the lamp of life. Magnesium is at the center of chlorophyll. You knock, so it's responsible for life on Earth. You knock out the magnesium from the chlorophyll molecule and put iron in, you have hemoglobin. Very important. Very important. So, I have no doubt I'm alive today because I've been taking a lot of magnesium. It must be over 12, 13 years. <clears throat> and uh, I will continue for the rest of my life because I like to prolong my life. I like to stay healthy. It's not the only thing I need or have used to stay healthy. But it's the most consistent. I take, if I miss three days a year, it's probably a lot. So, <clears throat> hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please look forward to your comments below. And if you like what you've seen, subscribe to my YouTube channel and go to my site, drcircus.com. That's D-R-S-I-R-C-U-S dot com and uh, you'll find oh, easy 50 articles on magnesium.